Hello, I'm Georgie. Welcome to Tech World, your quick roundup of the top technology news stories from across the globe. For this episode's Hot Topic interview, we'll be speaking with Rahul Gautam from EY about how blockchain can be used to improve digital rights management. First though, here are your top international stories. Dominating the headlines recently was Samsung's announcement that it was officially recalling its Galaxy Note 7 devices. This followed claims the smartphone was overheating and self-combusting. Customers who have a Galaxy Note 7 have been told they can exchange their phone for another Samsung device or receive a full refund. Sticking with smartphone news, Google's received better press having launched its first branded smartphone, Pixel. The handset features a 12 megapixel camera, unlimited photo storage, and comes in two variants a 5 inch display or an XL version. Prices start at £599 and it comes in three colours very silver, quite black, and really blue. Over in Poland, e commerce platform Allegro has been purchased for a massive $3.25 billion. The firm is described as a Polish equivalent to eBay and it competes with eBay and other auction sites within the Eastern European online retail space. Mark Zuckerberg has been making headlines again. He responded to calls from the tech community to address the fact that Facebook board member Peter Thiel donated $1.25 million to Donald Trump's presidential campaign. He defended Thiel's stance, stating that it helped create diversity within Facebook's board. Snapchat is rumoured to be preparing for a flotation on the stock market, which would value the firm at $25 billion. The listing would be the largest social media float since Twitter went public in 2013 and could happen as soon as March next year. Smartphones, acquisitions and even politics. Those are your top international tech stories for this month. For this episode's Hot Topic interview, I spoke to Rahul Gautam from EY about how blockchain can be used to improve digital rights management. Welcome to Tech City News. What do we mean by digital rights management? Digital rights management looks at all of the business capabilities from uh, producing content to managing content to distributing it and then finally to monetizing content that a media company needs to operate in order to make money in today's environment. And is that across all different types of media? Yeah, everything from television to film to music. What's wrong with existing methods of digital rights management? Well, today's rights management capabilities were broadly created for a business model that was relevant 20 years ago. If you fast forward to today, we've got the internet, we've got uh, digital distribution platforms for television, we've got download and streaming services for music, these rights management capabilities weren't designed to handle a, a billion people downloading songs in every country in the world. Yeah, incredibly out of date. Yeah. Um, blockchain is being hailed as a solution to this though. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Yeah, we're very bullish on the role that blockchain can play in the future of rights management, mainly because of the scale of the challenge at hand. There are so many consumers on so many connected devices today consuming content of all forms that the prospect of being able to manage who has the ability to access that content, how much that content should cost, and where that money should go at the end of the transaction is extremely daunting for the existing technologies. When we look at what blockchain can do with its distributed ledger technologies and, its, and the trustless relationships that it creates, we think there's something behind that technology that, that can inform the future of rights management. EY has just finished a startup challenge around all this, hasn't it? We did. We just brought together some of the most sophisticated media companies uh, in the world with some of the most innovative startups in London to explore just how blockchain could disrupt this space. For six weeks, we put them in, the room, in a room together and they explored different use cases about uh, just how blockchain could influence the future of rights management. We looked on one end of the spectrum at large established media companies who already own a lot of content. Uh, and one of the startups in that space called Bitfury is looking specifically at how those companies can manage the metadata about the content that they are trying to distribute. On the other, other end of the spectrum, we had a great startup called Jack that looked at new commercial models for the music industry and how artists can actually take advantage of blockchain technology to get their content distributed more quickly and more affordably than exists today. So this is just the beginning of blockchain and digital rights management working together? Absolutely just the beginning. This is a problem that's taken us, uh, frankly, 50 years to create and it's going to take certainly longer than six weeks to fix. 
um, but we think we uh, have made our contribution and we think blockchain absolutely has a role to play in the future here. Rahul, thank you so much for giving us our Hot Topics interview. Thank you.